guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel my name is kayla today i'm filming a story time but i have not filmed a video in so freaking long oh so i just want to give you guys a little update of where i have been a lot of shit has been going on i moved out of the tiny house my dad's coughing in the back I moved out of my tiny house because my landlord was money hungry and he wanted to charge an extra $400 for my boyfriend to stay a few nights, which obviously it's a tiny house. The freaking hot water lasted five seconds. That's a whole nother story, a whole nother video I will do if you guys are interested. Um, I got a new job. I ended up quitting today actually because of a lot of sh legal shit illegal shit so if you guys want to see that video let me know um i turned 21 i don't know if you guys knew that but i turned 21 so i'm legal to drink so i've been drinking quite often more than i'd like to admit yeah that's pretty much what's been going on i'm back at my parents house until me and my boyfriend find our own place which is kind of unfortunate and i'm looking for new jobs um, other than that i'm gonna get on to the story time I don't really have an excuse to why I haven't been filming. I just don't really like to film at my parents' house because my dad is very loud and I don't like loud noises. I mean, he's already coughing and slamming dishes and shit, which is very annoying. I'm about to go yell at him, that's why I'm gonna stop. This story time is the fraud landlord. Okay, this was not the landlord for the tiny house. This was for actually something else. So if you were interested in hearing about it, then just keep on watching this video. Sorry, there's gnats flying all in my room because I had turtles. Yeah, I had two turtles. I had one turtle. I had one turtle and it attracted gnats all in my room. So I'm trying to get rid of them. I got rid of my turtle. Yeah. So my sister ended up going on Facebook Marketplace and she saw this basement apartment. It was $1,200 a month. And she thought it would be good for me and my boyfriend. I mean, it looked nice. Uh, the guy was really nice. So we thought. Next day, I went to go look at it and the guy was like if you can give me a deposit down right now then let you move in so he was acting like it was his house and not his mom's house which i would get later into the video which is very fucking annoying because it's not your house it's literally your mom's house so i gave him 160 dollars, and that's all i had left besides 20 bucks that i saved for gas and yeah i was supposed to move in the next weekend so he asked me if i could come in sunday which was a few days before i was supposed to move in and help him clean the house <laughs> i was like okay sure why not i also told him that i had a mini dog zoe come here zoe she hates me this is my dog that i said was five pounds and that i would be bringing she's a pomeranian chihuahua She's super good, but she does bark. But obviously I told him, yeah, she doesn't bark. And all was good. So Sunday came around and he called me and he asked me, me if I would bring him and his mom a pack of cigarettes, like buy it. So I was like, okay, sure. So went to the store, I grabbed his mom's cigarettes. Well, she calls me and she's like, have you seen my son? I was like, no. And she was like, oh. well, he was supposed to go to the store. And it was a store that I was just at. And I was like, oh, for why? And he was like, oh, so he could pick up a few drinks. And he had told me that he didn't have any money. Like, oh, well, I came to the store because he said you and him needed cigarettes. And she was like, he has a whole pack of cigarettes. He didn't even offer me any cigarettes, but I do need them. And I was like, okay, fine. I'll get your cigarettes and I won't get him cigarettes. So I'm going down the road and he calls me and he was like, hey, are you almost at the house? I was like yeah i just left picking up your mom's cigarettes and he was like okay did you get mine i was like well your mom had already told me that you already had a whole pack of cigarettes he was like no i do not she is lying can you please go back and get me a pack of cigarettes so i had to turn all the way around and get him a pack of cigarettes because he was fussing and bitching which it's not my responsibility to get you cigarettes bro it's not also said that he didn't have a car and he went to the store there was a car parked in the driveway which was his so he lied to me about not having a car also he lied and told me that his mom was super sick so he stayed there 24 7 to take care of her so he didn't have a job and that is not why and i will get to why he does not have a job in a few minutes so i get to the house and 
my mom and my boyfriend are with me because I did not go by myself. This guy was honestly a little bit sketchy. He was supposed to have all of this finished, okay? There was a whole room not finished, not painted. The ceiling was falling apart and there was wall outlets that were not in the wall. And he told me he would have that done by Sunday. He asked me when my dad is going to fix it all. I get in the house and it is not done at all. Nothing is done. So I'm like, okay, all right. Hopefully it'll be done um, by the time I move in in the next few days. I ended up bringing out my dog because that was the first day I actually met his mom. I was like, hey, so he told you I had a dog, right? And she was like, a dog? What fucking dog? He didn't tell me you had a dog. We're gonna call him David. Uh, she was like, David, get your ass outside right now. And then she like starts cussing him out about how I have a dog. So I was like really uncomfortable because I was told that I could have a dog by who I thought owned the house. She states that she is the one that owns the house. It's not his house. She never got the $160 deposit because I mentioned that. You got the deposit, right? And she was like, what deposit? I was like, Sorry, there's a gnat flying around. Uh, David told me if I gave you $160 that I could move in because there was somebody else interested. And they already had $2,000 for the house when it was $1,200. Complete bullshit. He just wanted my money. By the way, this guy seemed like he was off something. He was definitely on either coke or meth. And I know this because one, his pupils were insane he couldn't stop moving he was like really jittery and yeah he could have had a problem and i thought maybe something was wrong in like his brain no offense i don't know if that's offensive until my mom asked him if he wants a hit of her weed and she was like do you want a hit of this he was like what is it and my mom was like oh it's weed he was like oh i don't smoke weed so he was insinuating is that the word insinuating that he would have smoked it if it was meth or coke or something other than weed because what else do you smoke in a bong you know what i mean or a pipe, I don't remember what she had. So I go outside and I speak to his mom and I'm like, okay, so I actually can't move anywhere that I can't have my dog because like, she's really attached to me, I'm attached to her. She was talking to me for a good like 20 minutes about how she just doesn't want fleas in the house, blah, blah. And she was like, it's not your fault. Um, I don't know why he did not ask me if you could have a dog, whatever. And then I look up on the porch. Now he told me that it was just him and his mom living there and his daughter which has the same name as me. Okay, that's fine. I don't care, it's a basement apartment, whatever. There was a whole group of kids on the deck to his mom. So who are those kids? And they're like, oh, they live here. Bitch. They were loud and obnoxious. And they were like teenagers. They were like 16, 17. And I was not gonna have that. And they were blasting music that you could hear through the basement. Now. Ever since I was little, I do not like loud noises. I don't like background noise. So that would have been a really big issue for me. And he lied to me again about who was living there. You could have just told me straight up. And I realized um, when I get back into the room to help start cleaning, which I already had in my mind, like, oh, do I really want to live here? Like, it's not really an environment. Like, he's already lied to me so much. There was no locks on the fucking door. His daughter came through the basement door, which the basement door leads to upstairs. They could walk in at any time. There was no locks. With a bunch of teenagers um, and him, which he's obviously a drug addict, I do not know. No, no. There was no locks anywhere. They could have came in whenever they want, ransacked our shit. And he already told me that he dumps her dives as well. And he sells all that shit. So he's a big seller of stuff. He actually tried selling me, it was like six chairs for $75 and then this record player for $75, which was a previous renter stuff. So like, why are you selling me his stuff? Why don't you just give it to me? I tell my mom, I'm like, mom, I'm having really bad anxiety, but I just can't live here. I mean, there's no locks on the doors. She's iffy about me having my dog. Nothing is fixed. There's a bunch of kids that live here blasting music. Like, it's just not a good environment. David has already lied to me a bunch. It just was not a good situation. I wanted to get out because I had moved from my tiny house and I didn't want to live with my parents, obviously. So I was, it was something fast and easy and he didn't require like a background check, a credit check. I would say deposit, but um, yeah. Ends up speaking to his mom. I was like, 
I'm sorry, but I don't think this is a good fit for her because it's very loud and she can't stand noises. That's what she told her. And she was like, oh, that's just David blasting music because he's mad at me for yelling at him. There was music already blasting before he was mad at her, but okay. Go out in the car, I sit there because I'm just having a panic attack. I'm like, mom, I really don't want to live here. Can you please just tell them I want my money back? Because he took the fucking money out of my hand. I did not give it to him. He took it out of my hand. The It was half up front, so it was like $600 in my hand that he just took from me. And he went upstairs with it. Which that should have went to his mom in the first place, but he ended up taking it. So my mom tells, his mom is like, I'm sorry, it's just not gonna work. Can she please have her money back, the 160 deposit and the 600? Like, okay, I understand. So she went upstairs to talk to David. I got my $600 back, but the $160 deposit, he spent it. Probably on drugs. His mom is raging like, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna give you your money back. Call me the third Wednesday of next month because that's when i get my social security which she should not be giving me the money he should be giving me the money but he doesn't have a job so how is he gonna give me the money um so i'm supposed to go pick it up sunday this sunday so let's hope that i actually get the money the 160 dollars that he spent on god knows what obviously his mom was super mad because he, she was supposed to get that money too something's wrong with my dog zoe 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 why are you breathing like that I think she was just dreaming really good. Stop, that scared me. Okay. And she was like, he's kicked out. As soon as y'all leave, I'm kicking him the fuck out and he's leaving. Not true, because I called the other day asking for my $160 and guess who picks up the phone? David. David picks up the phone. So he's obviously still living there on his mommy's couch. I don't know if they're gonna rent it to anyone. Apparently his mom did not want to rent it out in the first place but he just had posted on Facebook like trying to rent it out for himself to get the money and he was just a piece of shit. Honestly. No offense. I say no offense a lot but I just don't want anyone to take that heartedly. Um, that situation just really pissed me off so now I'm gonna be very careful about who I rent from and don't get something off Facebook Marketplace. That is quick and easy because that's not gonna end well from my experience. It's pretty much the video. Um, I got $160 stolen from me, a shitty landlord. And I have another shitty landlord situation if you guys want that video like I said in the beginning from the tiny house. I really miss the tiny house, but unfortunately it had to go because money hungry. <laughs> if you liked the video, leave a thumbs up leave it down below subscribe make sure you check out all my other videos i will be having more videos i'm so sorry i haven't posted in a while but i have a lot more videos planned so stay tuned for that check out my tiktok the link is in my bio or it's diving with kayla all my dumpster diving videos will be on here for now on um yeah be careful about who you run from because you'll get money stolen from you stay happy bye guys I'm sorry if I seem uninterested or I'm not listening or I'm indifferent truly.